Hello again for our second video today. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to make something very, very simple actually. Um, it's based on the idea, I get the idea from the Guyanese doubles that I had. Um, so I'm going to create my own thing, but very, very similar. Um, so for the filling, I have a can of chickpeas, one onion finely, pretty finely chopped, a few cloves of garlic, about four cloves of garlic, maybe five, and some weary weary, very spicy hot peppers from Guyana. Our herb and garlic seasoning, and all that is is herbs that we chop in the machine with some uh, oil, some vinegar, some mustard, and salt and pepper, and of course garlic. I have some kosher salt, some lemon juice, and I'm gonna use some spices here. Again, this is all for the filling. Here I have some masala, which is a toasted coriander seed and toasted black cumin seed that are ground up after I toast. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cumin, and a little bit of turmeric. And for the dough, just making a basic, basic sourdough that you know already. Um, and I'm putting a little bit of turmeric in it and salt for, for, for flavor and color, of course. So I'm gonna start. First, I'm gonna saute this. And a bit of garlic, a little bit of olive oil. Add my onion. It's gonna be something simple and tasty. And it's gonna remind us of the Caribbean. The flavors are gonna be Caribbean flavors, mostly Guyanese flavors. And if you don't have the, this herb seasoning, you can watch the video and see how to make it. Or you can use fresh herbs. But this is delicious. And this herb has a Caribbean Guyanese herb in it, which is bandana. And that's going to give us that close to authentic doubles flavor. Not quite, but close to it. One thing for sure is going to be delicious. So I'm just going to saute this, brown it off. And once the filling is done, we're going to make our dough, make like almost like rolls, stuff the, the filling in and then fry them. If the heat's too high, put it on medium. And you can leave out the peppers because they are very hot if you don't want the peppers. So, but we like the pepper. Add our lemon juice, our spices, and our chickpeas. And we're gonna cook this off for a bit. And this won't take long. And then on to the dough. It's almost like, it's gonna be almost like a pastry because we are going to fry it. And the smell of this is out of this world. Mmm, there's nothing like Caribbean flavor, especially the doubles from Guyana, which I fell in love with. Absolutely fell in love with. This won't be long. It'll brown off a bit and we'll put it aside, let it cool off and make our, our dough, our pastry. So, while this is cooking away, I'm gonna start to make my pastry or my dough. So I'm using quarter cup of water to one cup of unbleached flour. Of course, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of turmeric, some salt, a bit of salt. I'm gonna mix that up. I should mention that this dish, the doubles, originates in Trinidad, but I only had it in Guyana. So that's why, and they make it fantastic there. And this is, that's why this dish is, it's not the authentic one, but it's inspired as, as close as possible with the ingredients are, we have and everything. So now this is one cup of flour, a quarter cup of water, and I'm gonna add enough, just enough sourdough starter to make my dough as wet as I need it. There we go. There we go. And I don't want it too wet. 
And I'm gonna knead this a little bit until it's ready. I'll show you when, when we get there. There you go. So I make sure I take it all out. Our chickpea mixture filling is done. You can turn the fire off. And now I'm just gonna knead a little bit the dough. Just add a little bit of flour just so I can knead it. Because it's very wet. I just want to be able to work with it. Cut it and roll it. And then we'll start putting it together and frying them and see what it looks like. This is the first time I make, we're just making this up. So I'm sure though, it's gonna be fantastic. So I'm gonna let this rest, let the oil warm up, wash my hands and I'll be right back. So, ball's about so big I cut. Um, I'm gonna roll them thin. I have a bit of water here. I'm gonna see if, if I need the water to, once I fill this, I wanna see if I need the water to glue it back together a little bit to seal it off somewhat. So I'm gonna do this. Spoon here for the filling. I'm gonna show you a couple and I'll do the rest. And see how it goes. Like I said, this is we just made that up. And I want to see what it's going to be like. Just an idea I had. And I'm putting it together. And I have a feeling it's going to be fantastic. But you never know until the final product is there. There we go. Because I have such little space to work here. It's kind of awkward. So you have to please don't mind me with that. Let's see. Now, doubles usually are eaten with achar. Achar is that pickled mango from Guyana, or usually from India as well, but um, the one that I make is the Guyanese one, and you can see the video for that. But I'm wondering if I should add a bit of achar into that. Let's see. Let's see if that works. And I need to flatten it because I want to flip it after while it's in the oil. So my oil has been overheating. It's been heating already. Um, I lowered it down to two. So here we go. Let's put our first one in. Yeah, oil is hot. That's fantastic. And it went right to the bottom, which is a good thing, because then it's going to float, I have a feeling. And I can see our, our pastry expanding. And maybe we will try one with a bit of achar in it. And see how that works out. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that looks fantastic. our own version of pastry that's inspired from doubles that come originally from Trinidad, but I tried in Guyana. It's a complicated story, but it's a delicious story. And I know someone who loves these and they are gonna enjoy them. Let me see this. Mmm, that's gonna 
work out fantastic. You just grab a couple of sheets here and a plate. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep rolling my dough and making more of this delicious. You should just smell this <laughs> out of this world. I guess we could call them doubles. I'm thinking about it now. They're just presented differently. Same basic ingredients. And hopefully the fire is not too high. The heat temperature is not too high. So I want it well cooked inside as well. Look at this, it's working out perfect. Just leave it in there a couple more seconds. So our first one is ready. You can see this. There we go. Look at that. Flip it over. It's great. I'm ready to assemble my second one here. So for the second one, you see, I got some of my HR. Again, you can see this. I have the video how to make it. And this is a spicy pickled mango. Um, well, you can watch the video. It's delicious. Let's see, we'll make one like that and see how that works out. A little more filling in there. Mm. Oh boy, that's gonna be so amazing. There we go. On to the next. <laughs> this is the last one that I'm gonna make like this, and then I'm gonna try to make it as the real doubles with those two over there. And we'll see how that works out. Those are already done. And this dough worked out really, really nice. A lot better than I thought. Flatten it, flatten it, put it in the fryer, and start rolling these. And with these, I'm gonna make the Guyanese style doubles. I'm gonna try anyway. This has to be flipped over. And these bake very, they fry very quickly. Let's see how this is gonna work out. We're gonna try to make doubles. There we go. I don't want it to bubble too much. Oh, but it did anyway. That's okay. We'll layer it, we'll, we'll flatten it out after. That's fantastic. There we go.
perfect. That one is nice. That one is nice. So we're gonna end up making doubles. this one here temporarily turn off my fire here and put this one there let them cool off a bit and then we'll put it together and clean up my mess so we ended up making the doubles as well one of the doubles so just just put the you saw me flatten it put it put it in the fryer and take it out so um, this is how they serve the doubles I'm just going to do it right here. Actually, I'll put it in this one here. Fill it up. Use all of this chickpea mixture. Like so. See how our, our um, chickpea mixture turns out to be exactly for the, the as much dough as we have. So. And then we put a little bit of char on there and cover it, cover it up. And, and this is how the doubles are served. Of course, they put bandana, fresh bandana, they slice up and they start eating. But this one I'm going to give as a gift to somebody and that's going to be fantastic. So, mm, fine pastry turned out to be perfect look at this it smells out of this world I'm gonna take a bite mm. Please do like, subscribe, and share our videos, and uh, practice social distancing, and be safe. Until next time, um, bye for now. See you soon.